Hi guys, here we have to find out which one is greater. Is it 2 to the power of 31 or 3 to the power of 21? So how should we do it? The first step is to do inspection. The bases here are different and the exponents also have different values. So what should we do first? Let's start with the first one 2 to the power of 31 let's break down the exponents so we can write 2 to the power of 31 as 2 to the power of 30 times 2 how if we have something like this a to the power of m plus n you can write a to the power of m times a to the power of n so i have split something which is m plus n a to the power of m times a to the power of n now what we can do is 2 to the power of 30 can be split into 2 to the power of 3 times 10 then we have 2 so now what we can do you should know this law as well a to the power of m times n if something is like this you can write it like this a to the power of m whole to the power of n or you can write it a to the power of n whole to the power of m so i'm going to write it like this 2 cube whole to the power of 10 times 2 so now i have 2 cube is equal to 8 and I have 8 to the power of 10 times 2. Now let's solve for this part. We have 3 to the power of 21. Now 3 to the power of 21 can be again use this law and split it. So you have 3 to the power of 20 times 3. So when you add up the powers 20 plus 1 you get 21 back. Now 20 can be split into 3 to the power of 2 times 10 and this is times 3. So here we have 3 square, I'm going to write it like this, 3 square whole to the power of 10 using this law. Now this is times 3, 3 square is 9, 9 to the power of 10 times 3. Now I've got a value here 8 to the power of 10 times 2 and here 9 to the power of 10 times 3. What can you observe here? The exponents are same. What about the basis? 9 and 8. Which one is greater? 9 is greater than 8. So if I put power to the power of 10 on both sides, 9 to the power of 10 is greater than 8 to the power of 10. Okay. So we have solved for the first one. What about this? 3 and 2. Which one is greater? So obviously 3 is greater than 2. So we have got two inequalities. The first one and the second one. Let's multiply them both. So we have 9 to the power of 10 times 3 and 8 to the power of 10 times 2. So as this part is always greater than this part, so this is greater than this. So here we have 9 to the power of 10 times 3 is greater than this. What is 9 to the power of 10 times 3? is 3 to the power of 21. So 3 to the power of 21 is greater than 2 to the power of 31. So here we have 2 to the power of 31 is lesser than 3 to the power of 21. Wow, what an answer. Unexpected, right? Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Take care. Hope you have learned something today.